Hi, Dr. Trinal Halbeck here from the Central Theory of Music. Earlier this week, I was lecturing a group of PGCE students on the teaching of time signatures and grouping. And the one main thing that uh, many of them struggled with was duality of time. In other words, to convert from simple time into compound time or vice versa. So knowing this, I also know that there are definitely um, fellow teachers out there that struggle with this. And um, th that's why I decided to record this video. Now, if you take this example on the board in six over eight, you will see that I've got three quavers um, that, uh, that's basically the first beat and then a dotted crotchet, that's the second beat. So how do we convert this? So for example, the question says, convert the following example um, into simple time, maintaining the same rhythmic effect. How will we do this? I'm very sure that you are familiar with this calculation. So whenever we have a compound time signature, to get to its related simple time signature, we divide by three and by two, and that's going to give us two over four, meaning two dotted crotchet beats in a bar, which is exactly what we have over here. So how do we convert this example to, uh, to simple time, maintaining the same rhythmic effect? The first thing is pay attention to your number of beats. Over here, we have three quavers within the first beat. It's natural in compound time to divide a beat into three because we always work with dotted note values um, as a beat. But in simple time, we naturally divide into two. So how are we going to create exactly the same effect? Okay, so three notes take up the value of the full beat. All we're going to do is we're going to copy this example exactly in two over four. But what we're going to do is we're going to add an irregular note group. In other words, a triplet. And this is what you're always going to do. If you don't have an irregular note group, it's going to become one when you convert it and vice versa. When it gets to the beat, it's very easy. The whole beat consists of a dotted crotchet, okay? The whole beat in two over four is a crotchet. And that brings me to the second thing. If you had a dotted note here, it's basically, uh, or the dot is going to fall away in simple time. If you had a, uh, a beat in simple time, um, so a crotchet beat, when you convert it to compound time, it's going to become dotted. Now let, let's have a look at another example. Over here, we have four over four. So this time around, we need to convert into its relative compound time signature. How do we do it? Simple math. So you know that if we want to take this to the other side, we need to, um, to multiply. So we're going to now multiply the top number by three and the bottom one by two, which is going to give us 12 over eight. By the way, remember that you're never going to have a line between your top number and your bottom number. This is not a fraction, it is a time signature. So please also don't teach your learners like that and make them aware of it. Okay, now let's convert this into its relative compound time signature. So there we have beat one, beat two and three, and then we have beat four. So easy. We now go 
going to just add a dot okay so the whole beat is quiet so the whole beat needs to be quiet over here which means you convert the crotchet press to a dotted crotchet press over here we have one long note value that spans over two beats so what are we going to do here well all we're going to do is we now because we're working in dotted crotchet beat we are going to have a dotted minimum okay again i basically just add a dot and then with the next example you know what i want to actually just change it because i want to show you how i convert it okay i have two quavers so how am i going to create exactly the same effect in compound time well first of all i write it down as it is and now remember what i said in my first example whenever i don't have an irregular note group it's going to become one and vice versa so yeah i don't have one but now i am going to add a duplet so that i have two quavers that i play in the time of three quavers and that's how easy it is actually i trust that you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and i hope to post more videos soon